Wendy Davis is a state senator from Texas who became famous earlier this year when she conducted an 11 hour filibuster, an actual filibuster, not the Ted Cruz variety, against uh, proposed draconian anti abortion legislation in Texas. Now, eventually it was passed, but her stand against the bill inspired uh, a number of different protests throughout Austin and throughout Texas, and many and saw her. And it required Rick Perry to call a new, different section. Exactly. It accomplished something, okay. even if it only slowed it down. And so uh, we all expected coming out of that and how, how popular it was, I mean, over 100,000 simultaneous logins on the online viewing of it, um, that she would run for some higher office. And it looks like that that will probably happen at this point. Uh, she tweeted out, a week from today, I'm announcing something big. Can you chip in now to show the strength of our grassroots network? And uh, the AP and the Dallas Morning News are saying that they have sources telling them she will be running for governor. She will be running against uh, Rick Perry. And uh, while many people, and we'll talk about this, many people don't think that she has much of a chance of winning at this point, it is seen as, a, as an important test of the ability to both raise money in Texas for Democrats running for state right, statewide office, and also to see if they can move some more support towards the Democrats in advance of actually winning elections in future years. And so we've got a short quote from Mark Jones, who's a poli-sci professor from Texas, who says, the stakes are incredibly high. I can't think there is any real doubt whatsoever that she's going to lose, but how she performs could have dramatic consequences for the future of partisan politics in Texas and therefore the nation at large. If Texas turns blue, the presidency turns blue, referring there to uh, Texas's 38 electoral votes. And so what do you guys think? Uh, I'm confused by Texas and maybe you guys can shed some light on it. So before George W. Bush, they had a Democratic woman governor. In 94. Yeah, in 94. So it's not like it's not yeah. possible, right? Now, that. okay, the country's become more conservative and maybe the conservatives within Texas have become even more right wing and maybe the independents have become more right wing. I don't know, maybe. But the flip side is we're all pretty convinced that in a, because of demographic reasons, in about eight years, Texas will turn blue and it'll be game, set, and match for the Republican Party. It, it, if, if current voting trends continue. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, if, and if Republicans aren't able to reverse them in some way. If right. Republicans become super pro-Latino. <laughs> yeah. Just love so, them. So, eight years, or like I said. Or Republicans figure out how to clone more white guys. <laughs> yeah, right. that's true. No. Or maybe have sex more. And that's the why quiverful I, movement. By perhaps. the way, literally, why on Fox News, people like Gibson and O'Reilly mm -hmm. like bemoan white people not having sex more once they're married, of course. And right? Lou Dobbs, I believe, too. Yeah. I could be so, yes. Yeah. Now, so, if eight years from now, Who it's would fuck Lou Dobbs? <laughs> <laughs> probably Mrs. Dobbs I is my so. best guess. I don't yeah. think so. Okay, <laughs> hookers, okay, because <laughs> they're paid to. Yeah. Uh, so my guess, uh, but what I don't understand is if in eight years we're definitely going to win Texas, roughly speaking. Why can't we come close to winning it now? I mean, what well, they think that she might. So uh, here's here's a follow up from Mark Jones talking about what will happen if she comes close and why what the value of that would be. He says, there could be a virtuous circle to her, or that should be cycle, I believe, to her performance where she wins 46 or 47 percent of the vote, which would be closer than the last uh, Rick Perry election. That sends a signal to national donors that Texas is in play. It sends a message to local donors to keep their money at home. So right now, Democrats are doing artificially worse than they should because nobody wants to give them money or really support them because they know they're going to lose. Yeah, look, R Rick Perry just ran for president and became a national joke. If he makes another stupid mistake, if he does something else dumb, and she runs a great campaign, and she's pretty and attractive, the Bill White, former mayor of Houston, lost that race 55-42. As you mentioned, Ann Richards was an enormously popular governor of Texas prior mm -hmm. to George W. Bush. The notion that she can't win is literally yeah. crazy. And is let's bear unlikely? in mind, she won't be running against Rick Perry, no. but yeah, his right. successor of some sort. Yeah, but of course she has a shot uh, to win, and it totally depends on who the uh, uh, on who's nominated.